So, this evening, and I saw at least one person guess this correctly from the name of the stream, uh, this evening we will be showing you how to run the marionette in a script called Neighbours Confusing. This was, it was really difficult to find something that sounded vaguely like Trouble Brewing but was also related to a marionette. That was so hard, it took me a whole day. <laughs> and that's the best I could come up with. Um, so, the marionette, uh, of their ability reads, you think you are a good character, you are poisoned, and the demon n knows who you are and also neighbours you basically i think i've butchered the wording of that a little bit but that's essentially how it works so when you're running this in person it's obviously it's very easy to run this online but when you're running this one in person you basically have to just like you would do with the drunk replace uh put an extra good character in and have one less minion and then you hope that uh that there's at least one good player who isn't an outsider sat next to the demon most of the time that will happen if that doesn't happen you you may have to just re-rack or you could wake someone up in the middle of the night and tell them that they're actually a minion or something if you just need to shuffle things around a little bit so uh, there is a little bit of you sometimes have to kind of be willing but whenever you put the marionette in a game you have to be willing to sometimes change who someone is at the very start of night one uh, because it, it can go wrong. It can it can be an error. And sometimes, in very rare occasions, you can find yourself not being able to have the marionette in at all. you have anything to uh, to add to that, Ed? Uh, no, that's good. I have actually... There's two methods, one of which was the official method uh, that Stephen created, and there's another one which has, you know, uh, has been come up with since for how you put characters into the bag. Um that I've posted on the unofficial with the rest of the guide, but uh, they don't apply to online, so yep. it's easy enough online. Well, we're going to do it online out. as though it were in person, um, because this is going to go up Fair. on YouTube to show people who are probably going to be running it in person how to do it. So I'm going to do it as though this were an in-person game. Um, but the coolest thing about the marionette, in my opinion, is that it opens up the evil uh, Shall I go team. away now? Sorry. Uh, well, no, you, you, this isn't, this isn't going to be news to you. It opens up, it gives the evil cool. team the option to lie to their neighbours and say they are their marionette. So imagine you're an evil minion. Uh, you don't know whether or not there's a marionette in, in play yet, but you um, you just say to your neighbour, hey, I'm the demon, you're my marionette. Uh, you need to, you know, do what I tell you, basically. And it doesn't really matter, especially if you're like the Baron or something, it doesn't really matter if you get executed. Uh, but you, immediately you've just massively sown a load of discord and poisoned the well of information. So there's a lot of very cool stuff you can do with it. Um, right, yeah, you're going to be playing in this one then, Ed. So do you want to yep, hand over the away. hosting to me? Uh, yep, it, I'm out of it, so it's all yours. So, I think we, uh, for this game, we are going to... First of all, let's shuffle everyone's seat in. Uh, -na 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 -na. Okay, so... We are going to. Uh, we'll have. We're going to have the marionette in again. But I think we'll put it in with the Scarlet Woman. Uh, I think we'll have a recluse and a drunk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack the town with first night rolls. So all of those first night rolls uh, will make one of them the drunk, or possibly one of them the marionette. Um, <clears throat> we'll throw a soldier in there, a raven keeper, a mayor, have an undertaker, and we'll have a fortune teller. I mean, the alternative is we could put the baron in. We could put the baron in and um, possibly stack the town with outsiders. Yeah. Maybe, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's have a bunch of outsiders in there. Actually, no, let's not. Let's stick to our guns and put the Scarlet Woman in. Because I think we've got some, like, night one info there, but it's not going to be that trustable, really. We could actually just have, like... Yeah. We, we could kind of keep that to a, to a core few. And probably make the Undertaker drunk, maybe? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh... 
sign those. No, 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 no. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to make Adam, Adam the fortune teller into the marionette. And I think our drunk will probably be... Well, do you know what, actually? Let's make... Let's make Aggie the marionette. Because Aggie neighbours Jamie, and Jamie can register as the demon. Yeah, let's do that. That's interesting. <clears throat> yeah, that's gonna... That's that's cool. I'm, I'm up for that. Uh, so in that case, then, we'll make Adam the drunk. We'll tell Richie the librarian that Adam is the drunk. Let's not be let's not be too harsh to town. Although, as I like to say, you can always help town later, but you can't help evil later. But in this setup, we kind of can't help town later. So let's tell Richie that either Adam or Ed is the drunk. That should keep things nice and interesting. Uh, so for Pat the Washerwoman, we're going to show him that either. Nadine or Chris, the Raven Keeper. Or I mean Aggie's just gonna learn crap, right? But we'll give a crap that actually makes sense, so we'll we'll go with either Jamie or Evie. But they're obviously both wrong. But the thing is when Aggie learns that Jamie is the recluse, she'll think that's le that's legit. I could have pinged off the recluse. Uh, which should make Cat's conversation easier. Because Cat is nowhere near her marionette, because the recluse is registered as the demon, that kind of keeps Cat sort of safe. I think. I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud here. <laughs> just trying to, trying to avoid another disaster. <coughs> uh, and I think that's everything. We don't need a, we don't need a red herring. We've got washwoman info. We've got, yeah. Derp -de -derp -de -derp. We just need some uh, bluffer Roonies now. So uh, I think we go with Monk, Empath, and uh, the old Saint. All right. I think we're good. I think we're going to get a meaty game. We're going to play pretty fast. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, Chef's, chef's going to see. Uh, <clears throat> I, think we'll, I think we'll show the Chef a one. I think we'll show. Yeah, we'll show the Chef a one be nice about it. Uh, maybe not, actually. No, we'll show the chef a zero. There's quite a lot of good info floating around here, to be fair, so uh, yeah. Chef, chef zero, I think. One isn't the meanest, though, because um, by showing the chef a one, we anchor their knowledge to the recluse, which is good, because that's correct. There is a minion sign next to the recluse. By showing them a zero, we kind of protect the Scarlet Woman a bit. But yeah, let's, let's do this. All right, gang, we're going to be playing Speedy TB now, or we're Speedy, um, what the hell have I called this? Uh, neighbors Confusing. Yeah, uh, we're going to play some Speedy N NC, some Speedy North Carolina. Everyone ready? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So Alright, is everyone seated? Everyone is seated. Rolls going out. Okay, let's go visit the Mignon. Hello, oh. Ekin. Hi. So, uh, Cat is your demon. Okay. Aggie is your minion. Cat and Aggie, cool. Those are your yep. Yeah, that's that's the numbers. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Hello, cat. And how could you do this to me? Uh, well, I mean, I'm afraid it's uh, it's the web app that's done it to you. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> Ekin is your minion. Aggie is your other minion. Okay. Your bluffs on monk. Mm -hmm. Empath. Mm -hmm. And Saint. Right, Monk, Empath, and? 
Saint. Saint, okay. Aggie is the marionette. Oh, nicely done. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming you see what I've done there. Yeah, so Jamie or Evie's a recluse. Oh, it'll be funny if it's Evie, then she gets to be uh, registering imp three, day, three days running. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it just? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll leave you to ponder that, so uh, catch you later. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, Pat. Hello, Pat. So, as the washer whammon, you see that either Chris or Nadine is the Raven Keeper. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what happened yesterday. I hope Nadine's Raven Keeper wants <laughs> the game again. All right. Good luck. Hello, Richie. Hello. So, as the librarian, the libertarian, you see that either Adam or Ed is the drunk. Oh, I was close. I had Adam and Evie. Adam and Ed. <laughs> <laughs> cool, thanks. All right. You're welcome. Hello, Aggie. Hi, Ben. So you are the investigator, of course, and uh, you, you learn that either Jamie or Evie is the Baron. Okay. Right. Thanks, Ben. Welcome. So I've given her, um, I've given her a minion that she's very quickly going to learn is definitely not in play. I hope, which should give us some small amount of a clue to to unlocking the fact that she is the marionette. Uh, where are we off to now? The the chef. Hello, Evie. Hello. So, as Le Chef, you learn that there are zero pairs of evil players neighboring each other. A nice, relaxing game. Got it. Yeah, enjoy. Thank you. Uh, right, let's go and have a chat with the old uh, tipple drinking uh, fortune teller. Adam. Hey, hey, let's go, my neighbors, please. So, you choose Cat and Pat? Please. And you learn that between Cat and Pat, there is... Oh, I was going to try and do something that rhymes. What What's like a no that rhymes with Cat and Pat? I can't think of one. Ah, oh, um... Something, something at... You figure it out. You figure it out while I'm while I'm gone. There you go. That's can a little, I, little nighttime puzzle for you. Enjoy. Can I get a yes or no, though? <laughs> it's a no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. All right. <clears throat> okay, um, and I think that's a lot. Nothing else to do tonight. <laughs> Your search for the demon falls flat. <laughs> okay, um, let's wake everyone up, I guess. Good morning, everybody. The game begins. We are going to be picking up the pace. Today, you will have probably about six or seven minutes, and then every other day, it's going to get a little bit less. So get your chats in. Aggie, uh, Evie, Evie can Nadine, can I go to Backstab Alley with all the ladies, please? Uh, Evie, okay. Evie. Okay. okay. Chris, can I have a chat with you? Yeah. yeah. Um, I just wanted to suggest that we do a quick four-way hard claim. Sounds good. Sure um, empath? Fortune teller. Mm hmm. Chef. So empath. So, what did you say you were, Aggie? Also empath. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Nicely Good done. Job. Moreover, empath with a one, so I'm not sure if I'm happy to have you here. All right. Okay. Um, I lied. I'm trying to get killed at night, I'm actually the saint. Nice pivot. Good coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, thank you for that, and I will 
chat to you all a bit later. Evie, hopefully. so what were you claiming again? I too might also not really be the chef. Wink, wink. Am I the only one who I'd claim to? Oh, soul stains. <laughs> I love it when you ask Evie and Cad to hard claim and then both lie. They both lie. I like how you all came in here with a kind of, hey, girl power, let's all trust each other. And then you all just like, <laughs> proceeded nice. to screw each other over within like 30 <laughs> seconds. It was fine uh, until the double claim came out. I'll just head back. I, I don't trust this girl so far. <laughs> uh, well, yes, I mean, only... run away. Run away before we well, just. Okay. Before, before we spoil you. Aggie, do you want to hang around a little bit? Sure. Interesting. The two empaths want to chat, okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we want to hash it out. Yeah. That's not, that's cool. No, okay, no, we'll, we'll we don't you. need to. <laughs> Alright, see you back. What did Nadine claim again? Um, fortune teller? Alright, okay. Okay, so you are actually the empath then? No, I'm not. Okay, what are you? Oh, uh, well... That's something that suspects Evie of being evil. Um, Are you the saint? I am, yeah. Are you? Okay. I'm the investigator. You're the investigator? Hmm. Okay, so what did you see for um, Evie? Baron. Yeah. Okay. Evie as Baron. Okay, that's worth knowing about. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, hi okay. again, this is not the town square. Uh, I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> why, Kat, why do you keep asking people to join you in Baxter Valley? You know this is gonna happen. Because it's fun, it's crazy, and <laughs> things will obviously go very, very wrong. <laughs> Alright, let's let's head back to town. <laughs> I'm gonna... St uh, we've done park names. Okay. Um, that's it. Hi, chat. Hello. Hey, haven't chat. missed much. Um, uh, Nikki said he's already hard claimed, so we know he's not telling me anything. <laughs> yeah. And I've already been told about the clusterfuck of the conversation, which I presume you guys were there for. So, oh, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this is nowhere near the town square. <laughs> uh, I think she was meaning to go to the barber shop. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, I did say uh, she's good. Basically, I want. I, I feel bad for tanking Evie's chances last game, so I don't want to just kill her off straight away. But I'll it's Jamie then. I'll happily nominate Jamie. Okay. Cool. I'm happy with either. Do you know of any? Uh, do you know of any virgins? No, I be, know of I, some outsiders though. I'd be well up for the virgin role to find them, so I can nominate them. I thought I'd. Uh, are you are you a top four? Uh, yes, I am a top four. Okay. Cool. Cool beans. Alright, I'll leave it to it. Good luck. Cheers, Richie. Uh, Alright, what you got, Cat? So, am I your marionette? You are not, Cat. Oh, so it's Pat then? It is Pat. You're just the other minion, right? Oh, wait, if you don't know the other marionette, then yes, you're the marionette, Cat. Pat's the other minion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. Um, Cat, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, I'm not. So... I'm just the washerwoman. But I'm the washerwoman ah, who's actually been you, seen. You... As a fifth, I've been seen as by a drunk. Uh, sorry, by a by a librarian as a potential drunk. A librarian. Okay. Um. So who are you? Who are you pinging off? Uh, I haven't spoke to them yet, Cat. So I don't know. I want to talk to them first to see what they say. Try and get some claims off of them. But you're not one of them, Cat. Mm. So I'm not going to ask you for anything. Um, I am. I am. I am the most. I'm the most sus saint in existence because um, I went and spoke to um, Nadine and Aggie and Evie. And I claimed empath to try and get killed at night, thinking that at least one of them would be evil and it would get back. And then Aggie double claims me. And Did then you she... say you're saint? Yes. Okay, then that means we've got a ban because I've also heard from a recluse. Ooh, um, and a drunk. Um, Aggie then backtracked to investigator who saw Evie as the Baron. So, okay. I tell you what, I think Nikki's the demon. I'm as a drunk as well, so it's a lot of top four. Who, think, top who was a drunk? Uh, apparently, a librarian pinged Adam as a drunk, which you know, oh. str strange if he is a washerwoman, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is crazy. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, but if I'm if I'm going to be pinged by a top three, it's probably going to be the investigator, I guess. So. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, let's take you off the table in that case. Yep. All no, right. Problem. Thanks, Cheers. Jimmy. Bye bye. Who Ooh. I think is confirming somebody, but I don't <laughs> know who or as what role. Okay. Washerman out. So there's a washerman out there. There's a librarian out there. There's a chef out there. Hmm. Lots of starting information roles. Not that many outsiders, apart from Cat being saint slash empath in a double claim with Aggie. Hmm. Do you know what Aggie's yeah. number was? Um, she says she got a zero. Classic. Did Cat come up with a number before she got busted? Um, I think she said one. Oh, Cat, sneaky, setting up me and Adam. <laughs> yeah. If there's a virgin, I think I'm, I'm happy to. I'm happy to just nominate the virgin and just have a nice chilled out relax. yeah that'd be nice <laughs> let everyone think you're the spy but you'll be dead <laughs> you're fine yeah I'll be fine take the responsibility off my shoulders That's I've already cool. had one win one loss it's let fine. the virgin worry about it <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you've done this Aggie do you still want me to do that thing with you? Hey, Jamie. Yes. Oh, never mind. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Town Square. Nominations are... So. Uh, interesting, interesting. Uh, sorry, darling. I, I know you said something, but I didn't translate to your mic. Damn it. My microphone is just being disappointing. Richie, do the thing. Honey. What? <laughs> Richie? Richie, what do the heck? it! Do the thing! Richie, do the thing! Honey. Uh, yodle! <laughs> <Yay. laughs> Darling, are you craving virgin? So, uh, Richie can right yodle he who and yodels. <laughs> Uh, as everyone knows, and, when Richie yodels, dies. everyone needs to go for a quick jog and then make a cappuccino. <laughs> I'll play the rules of Blonde the Clock Tower. Yodels just a terrible delivery company. I'll nominate Richie. I'll nominate Richie. Okay, uh, Pat nominates Richie. Pat, tell us why you've nominated Richie. Point one, terrible yodeling. Point two, reminding us of a bad delivery company. Point three, it's Richie. Point four, it's Richie. Point five, it's Richie. And point six, <laughs> let's just kill him. Okay, Richie. Uh, Saint. <laughs> no, he's uh, not. Uh, hard, he, hard he's claim. not. Can we okay. kill the other Saint instead? Six required. Here we go. Come on, okay. <laughs> Richie, Richie, why are you claiming Saint, Richie? Because so he hopes to survive, hopefully, I'm guessing that's, that's the reason. Yeah, but, but Richie, it guess. would be useful for you to die so we can get Undertaker info on you. <laughs> I mean, I would be. I'm surprised people bought that, to be fair. That was not definitely not. a lie. No, I'm he's a, not I, saint. I'm a top four. Um, uh, Richie nominates Jamie. Okay, Richie, tell us why you've chosen Jamie. I was asked to. Would you like to defer to someone else? No. Okay, Jamie. Yes. That's it. That's my Wow, defense. what is going on? Is everyone's programming <laughs> broken or something? I'm so confused. <laughs> what is going on? There what? are reasons Jamie needs to die. I mean, this was his defense last time before he had the opportunity <laughs> to die. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, was, that was due to a uh, bad connection. <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? Ed! We had six. What'd you put <laughs> Yeah, I, I took mine down. I didn't Seven. expect Ed to We've got six now. Ed, call? we had six. Why'd you put your hand up? I genuinely thought we had five, and I was making six when Nadine dropped hers. I miscounted. So you know. enough. I'll let you off. Adam nominates Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, tell us why you've nominated Ed. Sus AF. Okay, Susif, what do you have to say in your defence? <laughs> eh, nothing. Good. Okay. We've got seven on Jamie. Eight required if you wish to execute Ed. Here we go. I knew my marionette would vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> you were no talky, Ed. You wouldn't let me know. I have to say, <laughs> while I'm not on the block, I'm really enjoying this west side of town. Let's go west side of town. Keep voting on it. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> I nominate Adam because he's so happy to not be Final on the block. Final call for nominations. 
Is Jamie on the left? Uh, Ed nominates Adam. Okay, Ed, tell us why you're trying to make sure this game goes beyond the uh, scheduled length. <laughs> because I'm the one that uses the sass as fuck uh, accusation today. Uh, it's not his job, um, so he should die. Adam? Uh, Ed, curse. Clearly he's the evil one of the two of us. Okay, you know the drill. Eight required. Here we go. Pat, could you put your hand down and get Adam to put his hand up so we've got the nice yeah, well, uh, Adam, cardinal you think? points? <laughs> Oi, Nikki. God Oi. damn it, Nikki. Oi. Nikki, <laughs> not you. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, God damn it. You're all horrendous people. Bring in the all started by Nikki. West Side Unite. <laughs> okay, Richie is executed and dies. Wait, wait. That's no, no. Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> something, hey. something beginning with IE. Some, one of those dies, and then we all go to sleep. Okay. All right. Don't know what the hell was going on there. That was a, a very odd uh, series of nominations. Oh, my mouse is having a heart attack. Okay. Um, right. Let's go visit that. Hello, Hello there. Hello. Who would you like to merc? Well, Pat's been voting like an undertaker, so let's kill him. Okay, Pat it is. Hello, Adam. Nikki and Chris, please. You look at Nikki and Chris and learn that... No. Neither of them Thank you. are the demon. Thank Hello, Ed. Hello. So, you awake and learn that Jamie was, in fact, the imp. Okay. Uh, right. Thanks. You're welcome. So, uh, I'll just explain my reasoning to you there. Uh, yeah, we're going to have... <clears throat> I've decided to give Adam a no. I think tomorrow night, whoever he picks, he'll get a yes on. Obviously, in case you haven't noticed, he's the drunk, not really the fortune teller. Uh, I decided to show Ed that Jamie was the imp because it will later probably... If they execute Aggie, he will see that she was the marionette. And that means that he'll probably think that the demon and the marionette are both dead and that the one person remaining who is evil is the Scarlet Woman. If he does learn that a second imp has been killed and he's got that marionette, he's going to be probably getting quite confused. But yeah, we've got to, you've, got to, you've, got to, you've got to think about what you show Ed because he will solve the game on his own. Absolutely will solve the game on his own. Uh, anyway, that is everything for tonight. Let's wake everybody up. Good morning, Ravenswood. Blah. Pat died in the night. A demon gnome. <laughs> oh, Chris, uh, Chris or Nadine, can I chat? Hey, Aggie. Can yeah, you we can chat, Richard. Tavern? Yes. A one. You got a one? So you, had a, you started off with a zero, then you got a one? No, I started off with a one. Oh, right, so you want to kill me today, then? Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, Are you still claiming Chef? Yeah. So, you won't mind? I don't mind too much, but I am now suspicious of you. Mm. No, that's fair. Um, how do you feel about Cat? I think Cat might be genuine. Since you guys double claim and you stuck around to have a long chat after I left. Yes. What did you guys talk about? About our empath numbers. Okay. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to share? Nah. On that note, I'm going to go and talk to a few other people. Thanks. There we go. Finally. Sorry, I got disconnected for a moment. So, hello. How are you? I'm not so bad. As you've already pointed out, we are the dead leftovers. So, hey. 
<laughs> so, why, why, what, what, what makes it so, so compelling to just kill you on day one in these games, Jamie? I do not know, but uh, well, I know. Yeah. I actually, uh, like, I think I, I think I'm sat next to an empath again. I think that was what happened. But um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this time I actually am the recluse. So the, the sus was was fair. Um, I was happier to die in this game. Um, how about you? You died night one, so probably yeah, good. Yeah, I was the Undertaker, so I'm very, oh, very, very curious on whether we have a spy. Oh, I've only told one person that was the Undertaker, though, so that's that's the thing. Um, and he happens to be one of your neighbours. <laughs> one of my neighbours? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, Ekin was claiming top four, top three to me, actually. Um, that, that's just it. So um, that that makes it interesting. But I think the basis on this could be a mare bounce. It could be something else, right? As well, uh, could be that we actually have a spy in the game. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to find out. But uh, pity, right? Hmm. Yeah, that is quite sad. But there you go. Interesting. Yeah. And neither of my neighbors wanted to speak to me yesterday. I'm fairly certain I wasn't the marionette. So hey. So I'm very, I'm very... Like, but um, but that also means we're in a barren game True. because just for your awareness, I've also heard the claim of a saint. Bugger. Okay. Um, so all four outsiders. But I haven't heard a butler yet. Butler somewhere. Okay. So if we don't, then we either need to throw some sus on Richie. Mm -hmm. uh, or I mean, the saint. Or or Rich has been poisoned, in which case I'd be looking at Evie or Nikki type thing, you know? True. Um, cool. Okay. Well, I don't I don't want to know um, who the saint is because that's just going to narrow down other... I'm not telling yeah. you, but if they're executed yeah. during the day, Ed, we're fucked anyway. <laughs> that's true. Unless they are specific, actually the marionette saint, which is hilarious because I love the idea of us executing a saint and then me finding out they're the marionette. Uh, why would that <laughs> not be the best thing in the world? Um, cool. Okay. Uh, cheers, Adam. Cheers. Uh, thank you. Uh, if you want, if you want to add, uh, by the way, if you want to add Undertaker to your bluffs, go ahead and uh, claim it to Jamie if you like. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Um, oh, um, I, I will. I will give you Nikki's claimed Mayor Slayer Fortune Teller, ooh. and I just, I just hope you're not evil, like so. I'm, well. I'm not evil. Um, <laughs> You guys can you guys can execute me today, but it won't be helpful for town unless you have an undertaker in the game. Uh, yes, fair point. Cool. Yeah, that's all I'll say. Um, I need to speak to Nadine and Ekin because I pr and Pat because I pretty much got the grim otherwise filled up. Nice. Yeah, I need to get claims from them as well. But cool. cool. Bye. Yeah. See you. Uh, unless, unless for poisoner, they got super lucky or something. Yeah. True. On, true. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, all very suspicious. We're suspicious of Cat's same claim, but we can't do anything mm -hmm. about it now. We'd like to kill her, but it's risky. You should do it. It'll be funny. <laughs> <laughs> it will be funny either way. That's true. That is true. We do have a midnight deadline to get to. <laughs> if, if, if it gets too late, we, that will be our... Yeah, if it gets like 11.55 and we've not done it yet, that would be the uh, hard confirmation. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for chatting, Nadine. Thank you. So you would like me to explain the connection to World Police. Uh, so uh, Team America World Police is a early 2000s movie by Trey Parker and, and Matt Stone that uh, is probably the, one of the most recent examples of an entire film made using marionettes, aka puppets. Although there are some other uh, pretty cool films that are made using marionettes. There was one around about the same time called String, I think, or Strings. There's like a a Nordic fantasy movie and the actual strings coming off the marionettes are like their life force so they have the strings in there but the, in, in the lore of the fictional universe the strings are actually really there it's it's pretty cool um, yeah check it out you'll, you'll struggle to find it though there's like 50 million films called strings <laughs> so good luck with that yeah I suppose cool. probably worth doing but yeah that does your yeah. information corroborates what I've heard about Jamie. So yeah, cool. Sounds but the good. only other person I've hard claimed Undertaker to was Ekin. So and then I died. Good, good to know. That's useful. Cool. 
Alright. Cool. Cheers, Stefan. Matt. I thought you were a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> right, here comes the movie, yeah? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Move here. Do, 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 do. I don't repeat my toxicity pass. Welcome <laughs> back, everybody. Nominations are open. Richie yeah, nominates well, Nadine. Richie, tell us why you've chosen Nadine. I think I have a full groom apart from Nadine who I haven't spoken to. So, yeah. And this is how you're choosing to speak to me. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, first impressions, Nadine, when this guy introduces himself to you? Um, I think you'll find I'm washerwoman confirmed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Five required. Here we go. I've heard somebody else is washerwoman confirmed. Yeah. And it's not that's... you. So yeah, Nadine, my hand is so... going up on this. <laughs> I would really like to know about that washerwoman confirmed, Nadine. Can we talk tomorrow? Mm. You're actually killing me for over this guy. Five is guys. enough. Uh, Nadine nominates Richie. Okay, Nadine. Tell us why you've chosen Richie. Returning the favour. <laughs> Richie? Uh, apparently there's a counterclaim of washerwoman, um, so let's kill someone who's actually suspicious, rather than someone who's just been counter-nommed. Can, okay. can we hear from the washerwoman? On what if, their views are here. If, if the existent or non-existent washerwoman would like to come forward, I'll give them an opportunity now. Uh, yeah, I'm the washerwoman okay. who's been seen by Richie as the potential drunk. I'm curious about this other washerwoman, but Richie's telling me. Wait, I'm wait, seen drunk. as a I'd drunk? Do you Richie. mean the librarian? Yes, no. I've been seen by the librarian as a potential drunk. Yeah, so, so I've like been washerwoman, to... so it's nothing to do with the librarian. I'm not talking what? about you, Nadine. Oh, right, I'm sorry. saying I'm the washerwoman. I'm saying I've been seen as the potential drunk. I'd like to kill Richie for that reason. Yeah. Did you confirm your person? Nope. Okay. So, so, so Nadine's in a counterclaim saying she has been confirmed. That is apparently a lie according to Adam. Don't kill me, kill the suspicious person. Yeah. Okay, we've got five on Nadine, six required if you wish to execute Richie. Here we go. Hmm. Just, as the person, so as the person being, it's, yeah, but as the person who's claiming that, I would still like to kill the person. This is a better saying, choice. Yeah, Richie is the better choice. choice. Richie is the better choice, yes. That, uh, just, just so I'm getting really my head around everything, uh, mm. Adam is claiming oh, to be no. washerwoman who has not confirmed their information. I presume he's spoken to both their people. Dean is claiming that a washerwoman has confirmed them, and Richie is claiming that Adam is drunk. Is am Someone I right? Adam, please. That is correct. Yeah. Why? Okay, cool. I don't know yes. why he's killed me, but um, I mean, at the end of the day, that sounds to be more like as the person who's been seen as the potential drunk who thinks they're the washerwoman. The other washerwoman is probably the spy who's able to confirm someone. That's to make me look sus. So, at this point, I still wanted to kill the person who's saying they see me as the drunk to be able to verify that this wasn't an evil chain. Does the other washerwoman want to come forward? Other washerwoman? Well, Nadine other knows who they are. Come on, yeah, I, I'm surprised they're not. Why don't you out them, Nadine? Yeah. All right, Pat. Yeah, <laughs> Pat claimed it to me as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pat's not the washerwoman. Pat's oh, the I'm other definitely the washerwoman. To. Pat was the person I, like, I spoke to Pat, I gave him the washerwoman, told him he was washerwoman. Pat was one of the two people I saw, this was just a thing, so Pat's just used you, Nadine, sorry. Me and Adam haven't spoken in this I game. I felt so betrayed by the washerwoman. What were you, Pat? I was the washerwoman. I saw Nadine and Chris as the <laughs> potential raider. Un uh, sorry, not Ed, uh, Adam. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm going to take your first answer now. Uh, no! <laughs> Chris, no Chris nominates Adam. Chris, state your case. Um, he's in a washerwoman double claim with a player who just died at night. Um, it seems really suspicious. Adam? Um, I mean, I'm going to die at some point, so let's do it now if you guys want to do it now. Um, carry on. Six required? I'm just the yeah. washerwoman. But I'm also the washerwoman, like, at a pad. I don't know why you're, why you're throwing me on the bus. It makes you look really sus to me now. I'm dead. So, so, so for everyone's hey. awareness, I was the washerwoman who saw Ravenkeeper. I think, and I got a ping then off of Pat and Ed. So I think Pat is the spy killed at night for some reason by the demon. Maybe a mayor bounce if we've got a mayor out there that killed the spy to help the game move along. So Ben didn't have to show them the Grimian every night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so ben have a Grimian. Final call. I'd still like to see them. Uh, Ed would like to nominate Ekin. Uh, Okay, Ed, tell us why you've chosen Ekin. 
Uh, because Pat told someone, uh, told only one person on day one that they were the Undertaker, and that was Ekin, and Pat died at night. Okay. And I'd rather kill Ekin than a confirmed washerwoman confirmed player. That's okay. also correct. Yeah, Not like. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my defense is I am the monk. I protected Pat, and I don't know why he died. I'm worried that I got poisoned. So um, if you think I'm evil, feel free to kill me. But so, I wouldn't kill Pat after he's the only one that told me he's the Undertaker. So great. We should execute you so that whoever the Undertaker actually is can find out if you're drunk or not. Um, and yes, someone is Washwoman confirmed. If you assume that Adam is making a play in order to not die. I, f I find it entirely consistent that Pat is Washerwoman confirming Nadine. Okay. But... So, we've got five currently on Nadine, I believe. Uh, so, six required Correct. for Ekin. I think I got that right. Mm -hmm. I think I know what's going on now. Okay. <laughs> how many, how many, how many do we need? Please help us then, Nadine. Six. Six. Need five. How many six. do we need? Six. 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 Um, what? Uh, what? 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 Evil gang, rise up! Yeah, kid, you've got a. To... Oh, for fuck's Five sake. Five is a tie. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> like a washerwoman wants know, to Ed, save the person they're washerwoman confirming. <laughs> yep. Final call for nominations. Nobody Guys, on it's the block. It's a Vortox block. game. No one on the block. No Sorry, on the Nadine. Block. Bringing the day to a close. I don't think I've nominated yet. Adam nominates Evie then. <laughs> okay, Adam, tell us why you've chosen Evie. I wanted to kill Richie in case they were seen drunk incorrectly. Um, and if they are seen drunk incorrectly, it could be because they were being poisoned. In which case, it could be Nikki or Evie, and that's why they're being poisoned. So I'm just picking Evie for that reason. Evie? Evie, please don't mm. claim. I've heard three different Undertaker claims. One of them has to be useful. <laughs> I mean, most people in the town know my claim by now. Um, I'm. Um, you shouldn't kill me because I'm not evil. Okay. You know the drill? I don't know your claim. I'm not the Undertaker. This is a really Thanks, huge push away from Nadine. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> yeah. Nadine is already... Evie, uh, Nadine is already not on the block. It's not a push yeah. away from Nadine anymore. It's a push no to one. kill someone. Yeah, that's Seven right. is enough. Yeah. yeah, but you're killing a good player. Yes, the difference is we, we're killing an unconfirmed good player as opposed to a confirmed one. Everyone knows my claim already, so you're not going to get call. anything new. Three, two. I don't know your claim, Evie. Nikki doesn't know your claim, Evie. Uh, Evie is executed yeah. and dies. <laughs> the game continues. Surprise. Uh, oh, what the hell is going on here? Every so often, you have one of these games with this group of veterans where they just do really bizarre, unintuitive things. And, yeah, you just have to just wonder what the hell's going on. Yeah, it's definitely... <clears throat> he was he was pushing so hard. Like, I'll be well surprised if Cat doesn't think that he's the Undertaker after that. Hello. Hey there. I think it's Nadine's time, isn't it? So, uh, you you choose Nadine? Yep. It is, thank you. Well, I was not expecting that, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh yeah, the same night as well, right? No, this time it's night three. Well, let's see what Nadine says. Nadine, you are not going to believe it. No way. After Adam <laughs> asking me, I'm literally just about to type Adam and Pat were speaking tomorrow morning. This has not gone well. Yep. So just to put this into perspective, you, in so five good. nights, you have been woken up as a Raven Keeper twice. Five consecutive nights spread over two games. Sense. Okay, yeah, so this, this is definitely is the spy poisoner time. 40% oh. death rate as Raven Keeper for these five nights. <laughs> <laughs> love, love it. Well, who would you this like to always pick? always be a Raven Keeper. <clears throat> Again, I did not think of it because I realized after that it was never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so I did not think this through. Um, okay, uh, let's. Nikki. So you choose Nikki and you learn that he is, in fact, the mayor. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Mm. All right. I'll have, a, All right. have a chew on that. I'll leave you to it. Thanks. 
Hello, Adam. Hey, 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 hey. Um, I want to go Richie and Nikki. So you choose Richie and Nikki. Uh, you yep. learn that, yes, one of them is the demon. Okay, thank you. Welcome. So I think that I think that works quite well. That's quite nice because um, Richie is the one who told Adam he might Perhaps be wrong. It is time to die. <laughs> Perhaps it is time to die. But yeah, uh, Rich is the one who's told Adam that he might be drunk, so if we kind of pin Demon Hood on him, uh, it's probably, probably going to work. Probably a sensible thing to do. Yeah, bye, Richie. <laughs> um, right, so we're going to visit Ed and tell him that Evie was the chef. Hello, Ed. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. So, uh, you wake up and learn that executed yesterday, Evie was in fact the chef. Oh, good to know. I th it seems like I'm the only one, apart from maybe Nikki, that didn't know that. But I don't know that, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, cool. uh, Thanks, I'll let you enjoy that. See you later. Okay. Alright. Just shaping up to be a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty neck and neck contest here. I think that what's probably what's what I'm in, what what I'd really like to know what's going on with Aggie, so I might just follow her around for the day. Uh, I I have not I have not witnessed Cat outright tell Aggie that she's the marionette yet, so I guess we're gonna we're gonna have to see these marionette plays that these guys are doing are really weird. Like probably they're probably just really high level and I'm too dumb to understand them, but if somebody tells me I'm the marionette. I, my response to that would be great. What are the bluffs? Great. Who's the who's the minion? Who's your other minion? And then I'd just go to that other person and say, hey, this person says that they're the demon and you're the other minion. Are you the minion? What are the three bluffs? And then you've just kind of figured it out, right? I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm oversimplifying it in my caveman lizard brain, but that's 100% that's what I would do. Good morning, Ravenswood Bagel. Nadine died in the night. Star oh, pass. No. <laughs> nice. You better not have star pass, Nadine. It's not a star pass. Uh, Nadine? I didn't know very well. Pass. What, what did you get? I, don't, I mean, I'm not saying this publicly, or should I? Well, you basically uh, came out to town and said it. I just, no one really heard, so I just didn't repeat it, but. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Do you want to have a chat, Nadine? Yeah. I'm confused. I thought Chris, I knew what was going on. What was that about? Like, what happened yesterday? Where was Adam playing Washwoman? Had you spoken? I have not spoken to Adam. I genuinely don't know what the deal is. He probably has some kind of ulterior motive. Whether that's for good or bad, I do not know. Uh, I was curious, though, to see who voted for you and how that vote would go, right? So... And that's that why I stayed silent for a long, long time to see what happens. Fair, no, I, I appreciate like seeing what happens for a bit is fine, but yeah, I, I, I did them, I did them <laughs> ghost vote to save you, so I know I, I saw, it, but it just looks like I star pass now, and it's not how I wanted this to go. I mean, um, anyway, I picked Nikki, got mayor. Oh, nice. Ooh, I realized in hindsight I probably should have gone for cat test the saint claim, but in in the moment I, I just didn't think of that. Yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's interesting though, right? So let's really hope you're not marrying that. I wasn't drunk or poisoned, but hey, um, if we have a confirmed mayor, let's keep, let's keep them alive because that might be our only saving grace. Yeah, after, yeah. I do want Ekin dead, however, because he claimed the top four when I spoke to him. I claimed Undertaker to him. I really? Then so why, why was he not happy to die yesterday? Or why did he, he not? He, he changed his tune we to didn't Monk. Get enough, yeah. Yeah. And he was kind of my last conversation, I think, before our nominations anyway. So, so yeah. So, I'm that, that it's, it's, as far as suspicious people, I'm definitely suspicious of, of, of that kid. It's potentially one of our evils that can actually do stuff. Because they, he wouldn't, I don't think he would have had time to pass this over to somebody else. But. Then again, it could have been a mayor bounce. It could have been pointed at Nikki, and I could have died as, as the washerwoman have done their job effectively. So, hey, makes sense. So, in either basically trust both of you, 
like, I trust Jamie's either a dead recluse or a dead baron. That's fine. Yeah, but it looks like we've got... Because you're, you're claiming librarian, are you, Richie? Yes, I am librarian. Somehow we've got all top fours in this game, because Evie was claiming chef. Uh, if it helps, I spoke to Ed first, then Adam, and then just spoke to a bunch of other people to kind of throw salt. Um, I believe I spoke to Evie first, because I just gave everything to Evie because I felt bad for the last game. <laughs> um, so I really hope Evie's not evil. Uh, and that's where we're at. And right. appar apparently, Adam wants me dead, and he keeps pushing that, and I don't quite know why. I don't know. I think I don't think this game is going to be over by midnight. Uh, <laughs> yes. Indeed. Fingers crossed. Okay, fingers crossed. I'll see you, Richie. Yes, so, uh, all right. Um, well, good luck out there. And, you too. Uh, I will see what else we can learn and see if we can figure out what the hell's going on. All right, see you back. All right, good luck then. Bye. Oh, I'm very sus a cat. Oh, really? Why? She just seems... I'm suspicious that she's not more suspicious of me, if that makes sense. <laughs> I am, honestly. <laughs> this is what I go, go through with Cat every game. You know, yeah, you know, you know when a player just listens to everything you say and you're like, why are you buying this? And you're I like, hmm. the, the thing about Cat is, right, is that she always she starts every game being really amicable with me, and then inevitably, inevitably starts. Coming <laughs> yeah, you at me. guys have but your uh... because, yeah, yeah. The trauma of her coming at me is all that I remember. So the next game, when she starts off being nice to me like she always does, I'm like, "Hang on a minute, aren't you supposed to be traumatizing me? This is very suspicious." <laughs> I did love that that thank you to the first game we had. I was was thinking we got four evils. Cat will vote on Ben. We just need to, that's our five. We just need to not get five votes on Eevee and it'll be, we'll, we'll be with it. Win. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Ben. Cheers. Have you got anything you want to share? Don't know. I don't know what's going on. Told one, maybe two people my role. Um, right. And I feel like I have no information. Okay. There's nothing I you, can really help with. Are you an outsider? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to tell you because I, I don't know what's going on and I need to have... Um, I'm the mayor. Oh, okay. The very oh, least. That's... Okay. Goes wrong. Fully. Um, I'm okay. suspicious we might have a poison there. I, it, it, I just said I just said in the town square. It just seems like one of those games where we have more than the subscribed amount of evil players. <laughs> ben, whilst you're here, a uh, storyteller question. Yeah. For example, um, Adam is one woman who has been poisoned, and Richie is uh, a librarian. Uh, could you decide to shift his drunk ping is? Um, after knowing what the poisoner has picked, so that Adam is the um, wrong with that drunk thing. So, are you basically asking me if a poisoner poisons someone, can I show them to a librarian as the drunk? As as the um, as the wrong thing, drunk. You would ping the actual drunk and the wrong person. Yes, I mean it doesn't make any difference who the second person is, as long as the as long as one of the two people is correct, that's all that matters. Or of asking, like in terms of the timing of, um, because putting down um things and stuff is part of setup. Oh, would you change your mind who the token oh, goes you ask, to? You're asking me, everything? might I change my mind who the drunk is uh, in the middle of the first night to make it more interesting? Oh. Uh. I don't, I'm sorry, Nikki. I don't really follow what you're asking. As a librarian, as a librarian, you've got yeah. two pings. You've got the uh, correctly seen player yeah. and the incorrect player. Yeah. 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 You decide to make the incorrect player be the player who has been poisoned. Absolutely. That's absolutely something I can yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've just realised. <laughs> Jamie's like, nope. I can't be bothered with this. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, we all might as well leave because uh, nominations are open, everybody. Adam nominates Richie. 
Adam, tell us why you have chosen Richie. Rich is claiming librarian that see me and one other player as the drunk. I'd like to confirm if Rich is the drunk or if it's me or the other player. Richie. Um, I saw Adam and another player as drunk. I spoke to, in a random order, those two players plus a bunch of others straight away. I've hard claimed everything to Eevee. I'm just good. Uh, I don't think we should waste a kill on me after already wasting other kills previous days on other likely good players. After the whole fiasco yesterday uh, that involved Adam and Ed's nominating all over the place, which I'm not quite sure what happened because there is an obvious disparity there. It's not useful to kill me. I am a useless librarian at this point, but importantly, I'm a good player. Please don't kill me. Okay, four votes required. Here we go. I mean, just saying voting all over the place and only have one yeah. nomination. So, uh, no, apologies, like... nominating all over the place between the uh, two of you. Yeah, yeah, so one let's just, yeah. Let's let's just be clear here, though, Richie. Um, I trust Pat and already knew what Pat was. That Pat was claiming he was confirming Richie. Dean. So I was trying to get someone who wasn't Washerwoman confirmed on the block. I can't vouch for Adam, but on the bequest of the dead players, I nominate Ekin. Okay, Ed, tell us why you've chosen Ekin. Uh, because I've been told to partially, but also because he claimed Monk that protected someone night two and they died anyway. Um, that's either evil, poisoned, or drunk. Or potentially he's a marionette that just outed himself and doesn't realise. Ekin? Like I said, I'm the Monk. I protected Pat and Nadine. I'm pretty sure I'm getting just, like, poisoned here. And I don't know who Richie saw as the drunk, so there's still potential that I'm the drunk. Uh, sorry about the tie yesterday. I mean, I would vote to save Nadine, but I'm not going to vote to kill myself. And I, the Undertaker that I know was Pat, so I'm, I'm not going to get Undertaker confirmed if I just die if the Undertaker is also dead. So. Okay. Four votes this is five. okay. You feel them really sus here. Richie, who was your two things? Uh, is it valuable to say? Question mark. Yes. No. no, I don't think it why is. Not? Why not? Why, why would we not want to know can where a potential tell, drunk is? Unless, unless we're going to kill think... Richie and find out if he's the drunk or not, yeah. there's no point saying it. Rich, Richie's made it very clear that the people concerned know that they're drunk, so I would hope that those people, when they've been sharing that information, for the relevant people have phrased it as I might have be drunk. However, now that I'm not on the block, there is a triple click claim amongst outsiders of what I believe to be a saint, a recluse, and effectively either myself or my drunk. There was a problem yeah. there. That was that was the reason why you were a decent candidate. Yeah, okay. also, so Zakin, uh, so you know. Ekin's gonna nominate Nikki. Ekin nominates Nikki. That's why I've chosen Nikki. Um Nikki is one of the few people I don't know anything about. I I'm okay to die here, but I just wanna hear what Nikki has to say. Nikki. Uh, I've hard claimed to Are we two or three people now. Uh, Adam has my hard claim. Jamie now has my hard claim. I can't remember if I told Richie the truth about my hard claim, but um, I yeah, three. I'm okay. I might lie to you as well. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, um, I'm myself to myself for reasons. Okay. Um, We've got five on Ekin. Six required if you wish to execute Nikki. Here we go. Two votes not enough. Ekin on the block. Final call. Three, two, one. Ekin is executed and dies. But well, the game lives on. Everyone goes to sleep. So I see there was a little little conversation in chat uh, regarding um, changing the state of the grimoire during night one. Now, um, just want to preface what I'm about to say by saying this is my opinion. This is not official rules or anything like that. This is literally purely merely uh, my opinion. But uh, and and also I, I need to point out don't break the rules don't change don't change because if you change things that and break rules somehow you've basically screwed the game up it's an unplayable game it's broken but if after you've woken up 
the poisoner and the washerwoman, you suddenly think, do you know what? Actually, I think making that person the drunk is gonna is not gonna be as much fun, or is gonna screw these guys over massively, or is gonna end the game early. If you if you look at your setup and think, me changing the drunk to someone else is not going to break any rules or or affect anything massively, but in my heart of hearts, I sincerely believe that it will make this game more enjoyable for everybody involved. Go ahead, change it, do it. If you, in the middle of the night, uh, after, after you've shown the washwoman stuff, suddenly decide, you know what? I think I want to show the librarian that this person is the same, instead of showing them that this person is the butler. If you think that that's going to make a more fun and enjoyable game for your group, go ahead and do it. The, the, only, the only thing that matters is that everybody has a good time. That's literally all that matters. And you, as the storyteller, you win when everybody has a good time. And that's 100% how I feel. But if for you and for your group, what is fun is knowing for a fact that that grimoire has not been changed in the night then you shouldn't change the grimoire in the night because that is what is most fun for you and that is what is most fun for your group and it, this is why this game is so much like dungeons and dragons and stuff like that some people like to fluff die rolls some people like to roll the dice in front of their players and let the numbers lay where they are and enjoy the the epic moments of doom that the, the characters feel whatever you guys find fun as long as you're not breaking the rules and as long as everyone's having fun that's literally all that matters that's my two cents on it but it is just my two cents it's just my opinion uh, and it's no more or less valid than anyone else's. Anyway, let's uh, let's go. <laughs> now, that, now that you've attended my TED talk, let's get back to the game. Um, these guys are going to wonder why this night was so long, and Cat's going to be well confused when I visit her. Let's go speak to her. Hello. Hello. That was a long time coming. I'm guessing that there's something awful going on behind the scenes that I'm completely unaware of. No, we're just having a discussion with chat about whether or not it's okay to subtly change things during night one in the grimoire. But we've, we've hashed it out massively. Um, so don't worry about it. Uh, who would you like to kill? Oh, I'm going to worry terribly about it. Um, I, ah, I think I'm probably going to make a really bad choice here. Um, hmm. I just feel like the noose is closing in at the moment. Um, I am going to kill Nikki. Nikki, it is. Thank you. That was actually a really good choice. Uh, so we've got an interesting dilemma now. We could we could ping this off onto so we could I think Ed's about to get too much information. So we could ping this off onto Ed, which would tell Cat that Nikki is the mayor and it would stop Ed from solving the game. But also I'm a little concerned that Nikki is now a confirmed mayor, confirmed by the Ravenkeeper, who's confirmed by Pat, the washerwoman, and so it worries me that he could go into this next night or go towards the end of the game but honestly if cat wants to kill nikki she can pick him again so i am going to ping this onto ed and have him die instead that is my decision and it is final um yeah i think i think that that is more helpful to evil than than killing nikki right now let's go see who adam picks hey up How's that going? You are right, Ben. Um, how about myself and Nikki? So you choose yourself and Nikki, and you learn that, yes, one of you is the demon. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. So we've now set it up by, by giving Adam a yes on... Because he got a no on Nikki previously. So he, I've given him a yes on Adam. And I've given him a yes on Richie and Ed. And Ed's about to die. So Adam's going to think that he's his own red herring. And Richie is the actual real demon. Or he's going to think that he's poisoned or drunk. I've, I'm doing quite well here, I think. Can I just uh, take a moment away from this game to say how well this one is going com compared to the previous one. I'm, quite, I'm very pleased with this. <laughs> right. Uh, let's wake everyone up and break the news. Good morning, gang. Ed perished in the dead of night. Cool. Ed, can we talk? Uh, now I'm going to out some information. Cool. Um, yeah. So, wash, uh, I was not the washerwoman, which I did claim to a few people, uh, which may have sprouted some confusion, was the Undertaker, happily swapped that with Pat. 
confirmed Jamie and Evie. Uh, interesting that I died before I would have seen anything about Ekin. What did you confirm Jamie and Evie as? Well, I don't need to say that. Because mm. <laughs> I confirmed them. Um, can, you, can you tell tell me? Because I know both. No, because I've told people I trust who are dead. And not right. people I don't trust who are alive, Richie. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> red for not trusting me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame you for trying. I'm so confused. So wait, what? What is Pat? I'm the washerwoman. So what is Adam? Pat is oh. still the washerwoman. He's claimed washerwoman since day two. I don't understand how this is so difficult. Pat is <laughs> not the washerwoman. Pat's the spy. I'm the washerwoman. Adam's claiming washerwoman too. It's, like... so it's just a simple counterclaim between the both of them. Oh my god. Okay. Just, just like the Ravenkeeper Collective, we are now the washerwoman collective. What's not to understand? Oh, we're final see, five as well. I see that left you speechless. Oh, no. Six. Six. We're six. 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 It's not making it much better. <laughs> At what point do we skip? Is it tonight or tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, I reckon. Tomorrow, do we, probably. Do we cut uh, them tonight? I, I, we? Actually, I think tonight is safer, right? Because even if you have three evils alive, you end up with a choice tomorrow. Yep. If you do it tomorrow, if every, every mm -hmm. evil person is still alive, you've lost. Oh, but if, if you skip him, tonight, you're, making it, you're no. making it more likely that three evils are alive if you skip tonight. No, yeah. You're changing we, the odds yeah. in favour of that. Guys, if we kill Adam, we guarantee an evil dead because him and Pat are in a hard double claim. So we yeah, eliminate all of them. Can we have a chat? Who's that, Nikki? To Evie. Peggy. Yeah. I will say Chris, uh, we don't yeah, need to kill sure. because I know we've already killed the evil one. Uh, uh, Nikki. Uh, Nadine, can we quickly chat? Yeah, sure. Wait. Christmas. What I find interesting, oh, Evie. Got, what I find interesting, we've got three top four in the game, and three of them are still alive, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I know, and they're all yeah. sus. Uh, Evie, can I talk to you? That's Evie. Hmm. Uh, chat, can we chat? Join you guys. Sure. So I was asking in there. I didn't know if you <laughs> guys could hear me or not. Or not. Well, I... Funny. Um, Evie. Uh, did Ed confirm you? He did. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't think I got a claim from you. Um, Chris, have I claimed to you? Yeah, you claimed to me. Yeah, I'm the chef. Oh, cool. Oh, so we've got all top four roles being claimed now. Yep, very sus. <laughs> yeah, is, is Aggie now claiming investigator, not Empath? Yeah. Oh, what was your number? Because I was recluse. I was. I got a zero. Oh. So it doesn't really tell us anything about Ekin next to you. Yeah. It's oh, weird that Aggie. So, do you know what else Aggie's saying? Because Aggie said one one apparently, didn't she? On she so one of those would presumably be me. But she's saying that she's is now. So she claimed empath at the start, and then she pivoted to investigator, seeing a baron between you her neighbours. Yeah, that's her right. claim. She plays she's... the empath claim. So we've got three outsider things going on this game. I had a chat with Kat earlier where I felt she read pretty socially evil. Oh, okay. We can't. Yeah, because what was that? What was that first? Oh, is Kat claiming saint? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, for God's sake. So she so what... and Aggie both claimed empath in our day one chat, and then Kat um, backtracked to saint. Oh my God! Because that was that was what happened in that all girls chat on the first day, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. And Nadine has outed as a raven keeper. She's picked someone who's alive and has confirmed them. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Awesome. I won't share who yet. So. That's fine. Um Is it Kat or Adam? Um I don't want to say at this stage. It's they're, neither, they're who I'd, it's neither of those two. They're who I'd like to kill. In spite yeah. of your chef zero, I just feel that they're evil yeah i don't know what adam's doing yeah no me neither i think richie's good richie sounds good he was quite apologetic at this uh. <laughs> which is quite nice um <laughs> but yeah Adam. i don't know about aggie or nikki i'm hoping one of them's raven keeper confirmed i can't give out yeah that's fine that's fine do you, so, which which evils do you think we have in this game then? Poison it if we don't Ekin. 
Yes, that's true. And then... Mm, Marionette. Marionette, if we think you're the drunk. Um, but then if we think I'm the drunk, then why did Richie see a drunk elsewhere? Hmm. Oh, that's good. Alright, peeps are getting dragged back. Get them! <laughs> I hope the chat is enjoying my gift game every time <laughs> I'm alone. Forever alone. Forever alone, I wanna be. Alright, welcome back everybody. Town Square time, six living players, three votes required for the majority. Here we go. Uh, Nikki nominates Adam. <laughs> yes, Nikki. Okay. Nikki has nominated Adam. Tell us why I've chosen Adam. So, um, it sucks that Adam's the first person I claim to. Um, I believe uh, that Adam Spy makes sense in a lot of worlds, um, potentially, because he's in a double claim with Pat. Um, he's also technically, potentially within a triple claim of Outsider. Um, he could potentially be the librarian's ping for an outsider, but he's pinging off it because he is the spy. Uh, also, by executing Adam, it means that we've definitely got an evil dead um, in all worlds, so we can't have a all evil final three. But which evil uh, dead is it? Is it the first one? The army <laughs> <laughs> mm. right, sorry, go ahead, Adam. Uh... Uh, I mean, killing me doesn't necessarily mean you've definitely got a confirmed evil player killed. Um, yeah, I mean, you and Pat are in a double game. That doesn't yeah, mean that we're evil. That doesn't mean we're, we're one of us is evil. I, I mean, guys, this is not the first time you're playing with me. Uh, sure. I well, okay. You know what? I'm just going to out it. I'm the fortune teller. Um, so I double claimed washerwoman to keep myself alive. Nikki, would you like to confirm anything out to anyone? Yeah, he did tell me fortune teller in our very first conversation. Thank you. I then claimed under. I just then claimed washer went from that point on to to not be a target. Um, I was told that I'm potentially drunk. Uh, if I was being shown as the outsider, I have heard of a saint in this game. I probably wouldn't be claiming drunk. I'd probably try to be claiming saint or something to make that person look more sus. If you guys want to kill me today, it's better today than in final three. Your choice. Okay. Although I am watching evil players vote right now. Three mm. votes required. Here we go. Yeah. It's interesting. Is there anyone else who isn't me that should be killed instead? So we've not very well. Yeah, little, I'd kill both. Of either, of, I, either Aggie or Chris are decent targets. Yeah. Three is enough. Richie nominates Chris. So Richie has nominated Chris. Sorry, I'm, I'm acutely aware that there is a raging debate happening in, uh, in chat right now that I I can't really make you all aware of, but I keep <laughs> my eye keeps going over to it. <laughs> uh, so Richie, tell us why you've nominated Chris. Adam got into my head. Yeah, Aww. Adam's really evil. I'm not even in the top four most suspicious players of this final six. Uh, this would be, this will be Just evil you. gang rise up. According here, to Chris, <laughs> according to Sorry, me. guys, he's, he's done the research. He's not suspicious. <laughs> he's run the numbers. <laughs> the Chris, am out. I your marionette? No, I think you're just a minion cat. I think Pat's evil. <laughs> yes. What? Chris, yes, I think you you're precisely that. fourth in my list of uh, untrustworthy piece of people, so you I'll are in the top four. four. Just take four. Lie. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, we've got three on Adam, four required if you wish to kill Chris. Here we go. Why do you think yeah. Cut is evil? <laughs> General one. suspiciousness. Just the and day Adam, one. Since day you've, one. Since you've one, claimed, yeah. Adam, can you claim what you actually saw? Got, um, you know, info thing, Ed. words. Ed, I'll tell you tomorrow in private, but I don't want to out to cool. town in case the oh, evil yeah. pings that I've had. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Jesus. Like. But I have had, can we for everyone's awareness, I will tell I've had three evil pings. Can we nominate either Richie or Aggie? And just have done. Aggie. Probably Aggie. I'd like to nominate Richie. Okay, Kat has nominated okay. Richie. Kat, your case. Um, I have heard of a recluse claim. I am the saint. I have heard that he is a librarian seeing a drunk. So, mechanical conflict. 
Okay, Richie? Uh, Kat just was momentarily confused whether or not she was the marionette. Um, let's not kill a good player. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> well, uh, uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to die, but again, don't kill a good player because it just makes it harder for good to win. Okay. We've got three on Adam. We need four on Richie. Here we go. Thing that worries keeping me. stats, Richie is my number four. Yeah, the thing that worries <laughs> me, nobody's ever nominated Aggie. We've heard nothing really from her, and there's very, like, it, it's a good tactic to be as a demon. Just stay low, say nothing. Ag One is yeah. not enough. Adam nominates Aggie. Okay, Adam, tell us why you've chosen Aggie. Uh, because I've seen Aggie win on at least two occasions by not <laughs> saying anything as the mm -hmm. evil demon. So mm -hmm. I was about to do it, Pat. You didn't get put this into my idea. You don't get to take credit if we win now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. The other thing to point out is Aggie is the third claim of top three that I've heard and still alive. So, Aggie? I'm not happy that Adam and Pat just outed my strategy for all my evil games. Thanks for that. <laughs> I, will, I will be forced to talk to people when I'm evil. Not comfortable with that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm the investigator. Off me if you want. Okay. Four required. Chris. Chris, Where do you want to vote for me? Chris, you can vote on this. I'm Don't voting on it. Vote for me, Chris. Vote. Raise like your Richie. hand. Chris, oh, Chris, 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 Chris. 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 Hey, wow. <laughs> Why are we saving Adam, though? Alright, oh, Jamie. I am also I... wondering about this. Four is enough. I only voted because Ed and Jamie very clearly wanted it, and I wasn't going to let them use their ghost votes for it. Oh, Nikki. Nikki, you're the other person who's been very quiet and managed to hide. So, final call. I actually trust Nikki. Again, hard to say, but Three, it's true. Two, one. Aggie is executed and dies. And the game continues. Everyone to cottage. All right, this is interesting now because we've got a we've got a classic situation right here. A demon who is claimed to be the saint. How how long can she ride that for? Can she ride that claim right through to victory? No one's going to kill her just yet. I don't think they will at least. So how much longer can she make it work for? Be interesting. I don't know. I don't think Aggie did know that she was the marionette. To be honest with you, I don't. I don't think she. Do, I think she thinks she's the investigator. I'll. I'll, I'll be interested to know afterwards. Actually. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's go visit Cat. Hello, Cat. Well, this is going wonderfully awful, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I, can, I can neither um... confirm nor deny. All right. Um, let's hit Nikki again and see where you bounce it. Okay, Nikki, it is. All right. I am going to let that one go through because Nikki is too confirmed right now as the mayor, in my opinion. Uh, Nadine's seen him as the mayor, and Pat has confirmed Nadine, and I think everybody believes Pat and Nadine at this point. So we're gonna we're gonna let this one go through because it's too it's it would be too easy a mayor win final day in my opinion. Um, I think what we might do is if Adam picks Chris and somebody, might show him a yes and make it seem like Nikki was the imp who killed himself in the night. But I don't know. We'll we'll see what he does. Hello, Adam. No, I'm still alive. I'm still um, alive. Uh, I think Cat and Chris. So you choose Kat and Chris, and you mm -hmm. learn that, yes, one of them is the demon. <laughs> All right, thanks. Ben. You're welcome. Okay, so I I think that that will probably make him think that there's been some kind of star pass there towards Chris, because he's obviously, he's already checked Kat. I mean, he might think that it's Kat, but he's already checked Kat once, and she's been claiming Saint the entire game, so... Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll see. Especially given that Nikki was like getting accused yesterday towards the end. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um Okay, that's everything. Wake all these guys up.
Oh, hello, Nikki. You? Yeah, I see you. <laughs> Getting straight in here. I just want to be loved by, by chat. <laughs> okay, good morning, everybody. So, Nikki, what was that? You just want to be loved? Well, you're dead, Nikki. Dead! Oh, Nobody no, needs a curse, no, Nikki. Oh, no. No. Oh, Nikki oh, no. was number six. Well. <laughs> Screw you, demon. Screw you. So, oh, just yeah. know everyone. Also, so. Chris, can you please say what you put in chat out loud? Because ch <laughs> Twitch deserve to hear that. They do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just said, if you th there's a chef zero, so if you think you're a marionette, you marry an aunt. <laughs> yeah, someone, please, so, someone please clip that. Uh, yeah. For, yeah, beautiful. So, for awareness, either I am the drunk or there is a bit of star pass because people I have checked, I've previously got no one and now have yeses on. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm really sad because I was going for a second mayor win of the night. I mm. just got a mayor win in text game. That was so glorious. Text games I don't count, Nikki. Uh, I was right to trust you! I was right! We've right just lost me. someone... We've lost someone from chat. If we can yeah. work out who it is, that'd be handy. From chat? Jamie, it's Jamie. Jamie. Yeah, we've lost Jamie. 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 He's had Jamie. enough. He's just like, I've had enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, I'm leaving. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to assume we want to do a run around the town square at this point, or do we want to do it tomorrow once we've skipped today to go to Final 3? Let's do it tomorrow. Uh, how confident are we that it's at evil? Very. Mm. Very. Well, I don't know, because yeah, I'm it... so damn confused. Uh, uh, the problem is is that Adam's in a counterclaim and Kat's in a counterclaim. So, so two, two of the four people are alive. Adam, Adam Adam's absolutely not, in a counterclaim. as has been revealed. <laughs> Adam's yeah. claimed fortune teller. I don't Unless think we have Adam's a in a counterclaim. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Nadine... And Kat's on the counter, what's going on with too many outside. Nadine, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, my information is absolutely trash now, so I'm just going to come out with it publicly. I've got... On my first night, I checked my neighbours and got a no. Next night, I checked the following round neighbours and got a no. But the problem is I'd already told Nikki I was... I was fortune teller by that point. So I was like, maybe he's got his minion if he's the demon to poison me. So I double checked him the next night and Richie and got a yes. And then I checked Nikki and myself the night after and got a yes. And then last night I checked Kat and Chris, who I previously got nose on and got a yes. So either I'm the drunk and Nikki's my red herring, but he can't be because I got no on him at first, or I've got to be the drunk. I've just got to be the drunk. Yeah, Aki, that's the thing Aki right now, demon. Adam, is that. With Richie's, it, th mm. the thing is, if Adam's actually the drunk, that means that Richie's telling the truth, which means that Adam's telling the truth, which means that we've literally just got Cat and Chris to choose between. Yeah. yeah. Well, Aggie, Aggie demons. Then so much for Wolverine. so much for not even in the top four, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in, I'm in the top four okay. now. There are four of us left. Well, there's a, yeah. there is a chef zero. Uh... I mean, there's a world where Adam and Richie are evil together. So who is the chef? I'm the chef. And um, I assume Ed confirms that, yes? Yep. Indeed. So we have a recluse, a saint, and someone that's sword drunks. Uh, ben, yep. I have a public announcement. Okay. You broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Good. I'm not the one who killed you. <laughs> but you let it happen. Yeah. Did I'm, I'm, bound, I'm bound by the rules, just like everybody else. Mm. Who, did you tell you were, who did you tell you were mayor, Nicky? Um, Adam, Jamie, and Richie. I'm also... Mm. It was three for three. I got Slayer, um, Mayor, or Fortune Teller from you, Nicky. Richie, you, f you found out more specific, because it was very clear... You were like, what inform? Uh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. Yeah, Richard was like, what what information do you have? Um, I was like, I don't. And so I think it's fairly obvious that I was mayor at that point. Nominations um, are open. I was hoping you were you were alive, suspiciously. So I had nothing for you, and I was really hoping you were something like the fortune teller because no one else had any information rolls just before Adam came out. So I was hoping for fortune teller. <sighs> so so are we doing a round round the clock? Let's do it tomorrow. I won't be nominating today. Yeah, there's oh, nothing oh, else doing tomorrow. Oh, You're interested in the new demon, Chris, right? So, yeah. <laughs> it, are both Richie nominates Cat? 
Okay, Richie, tell us why you've chosen Cat. So, is it Cat and Chris, or is it just Cat, in my opinion? Annoyingly, I trust Adam. Sneaky boy, that he is. Cat. Um, is that the total of your accusation? Pretty much, yeah. Um, I'm the saint. Um, if you kill me today, then the demon will kill at night, and the game... Well, the demon won't kill at night, because the game will be over. Correct. Um... This would be a bad idea, but if you're going to kill me tomorrow, then you may as well kill me today. Um, I do not know what Chris is. Adam is making a very convincing case for being drunk, but I think he could be in it with you. I just don't know. He could be the spy as well. Two vo Just two votes required. Here we go. So three outsiders makes a compelling case for a marionette, right? I I don't think we should be executing today. No. So you don't oh, believe also, there are three evils amongst people left alive, well, right? Here's, here's the thing. I would like to think that if there were still three evils alive, then there would have been a mere bounce to an evil. Like I think think. I I think at least one, probably Ekin is evil. Yeah, I think Ekin's evil. He claimed, he claimed a monk that didn't protect, and we've got someone else seen as the drunk. So, just, yeah. yeah. Nicky, the only way the only way it doesn't work is if there's a poison as well. Okay, poison. no executions yeah. today. Everybody goes to sleep. Oh, it's going down to the wire, guys. I'm really glad it is as well. This has been a really good game. Really good game. Definitely worthy of YouTube. You'll, you'll, if you're watching this on YouTube, this game is worthy of what you're doing right now, in my opinion. Um, hello, cat. Oh dear. Oh dear, indeed. Oh dear, Chris is the soldier, isn't he? Um, hmm. <laughs> um, who do I legitimise by targeting? That's the question. Um, it's going so badly. Um. Let's kill Adam. Okay. It is. Thank you. All right. That's all we have to do tonight, then. Uh, I think if... If Adam had survived, I would have given him correct information because I think he believes he's drunk. But I obviously didn't get the opportunity to do that. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's really all we need to do for tonight. Wake everybody up. Good morning, town. Adam is dead. There are yeah. three living players. This is probably the final day of the game. Good luck to both teams. Oh, Chris. Should we do a round robin? Round red. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so I'm not the only one who said who called it that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I, nearly, I nearly caught myself. <laughs> um, do, I mean, since Chris is the only non-publicly known living Am player, I... should we start with Chris and then go yeah. clockwise? <laughs> I'm a soldier. I've clearly not been targeted at all this game. Um, but yeah, soldier. Cool. I'm the Undertaker. Saw so JB as the Imp, Evie as the Chef, and then died before I got to read Ekin. I'm the Ravenkeeper. I saw Nikki as the mayor, and I was really excited Ooh. for a mayor win. And I'm still a yeah. bit heartbroken. Um, yeah, I was the monk. I protected Pat, and I protected Nadine. Um, the two nights that I was active, um, I'm pretty sure I was poisoned, so there you go. Oh, wait, just um, checking, you're claiming to first. have protected both players. Nikki, Nikki, can we get a That is what I heard too. Jamie? I heard Jamie. Yeah, I, I was the recluse. What are you now? Darling. <laughs> 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 do, do, do you want me to MC this for you guys? Aggie, you're up <laughs> yes. next. Thank you. I'm uh, the investigator. I uh, saw so the baron between my neighbors. And okay. the chef for the zero. Uh, librarian saw Adam and Ed as drunk, told both. Also, hard claimed everything 
to Evie. Nikki, the mayor. I've just had a realization. All right, yeah, thanks for Nikki the mayor who just had a realization path. Wash a woman, so Nadine, as, or Chris, as the Raven Keeper. Adam. Fortune teller, neighbors no. Next set of neighbors no. Nikki, Richie, yes. Nikki, myself, yes. Cat, Chris, yes. Um, I'm a saint. Okay. I think Nikki wants to tell you or something, and I kind of feel yeah, sorry for it. Sounds like it's going to explode, so go for it, Nikki. <laughs> I I just realised I think I know. I, I think Ekin is the marionette uh, sat next to a recluse, uh, and that's why it was able to have it like that. But the chef getting a zero. Um, Nikki, I kind of agree with you in concept, but based on something that Nadine told me about the girls' conversation day one, I think you might have the wrong neighbour of the recluse. Because apparently what happened day one is that Nadine, Aggie, Evie and Kat went into one conversation. Uh, Nadine and Evie... Oh no, so Nadine lied because she's the Raven Keeper. Evie hard claimed chef. Kat hard claimed empath. Aggie hard claimed empath. Kat backed out of empath to saint. Uh, yep. Then Kat and Aggie stayed to have a chat after that conversation. They did. I suspect it's more likely that if... Specifically, if Kat is the demon and not Chris, then I suspect that Aggie is the marionette. If Chris is the demon, I think you're more likely right that Ekin is the marionette. Well, why, so, Chris, take, why doesn't pick your poison. with Ekin? That doesn't explain anything with Ekin, though, Ed. It's got to be Ekin. Chris, Chris well, did the, it doesn't stop him from both being evil. Chris, um, well, it was Edge my first guy who claimed soldier, so unless he's the demon, he would have had that from get-go. Ed, you're right about mm. some of the elements of that conversation, but you weren't there. No, but I, I accurately reported not? it based on what I was told. <laughs> Feel free to you've accurately it. reported some of the bits you've told. You've not accurately reported the bit where I explained to the girls that I was trying to get myself killed because claiming empath in a group of four, I'm bound to hit at least one evil. And I only yeah, backed out then, because it was a double like claim because I'm actually the saint and you cannot afford to be a saint in a double claim. But after that conversation, Aggie was actively claiming to me empath one and then change to investigator. Yes. Yeah, so the conversation I had with her, we were just discussing her pings and then deciding to go on and but just figure out who they were. Interestingly, What's I can also chance? claim the investigator to me when on that day when I claimed Undertaker to and then died. What? What's the chance I wasn't so so? What's the chance I wasn't drunk but was actually poisoned that night? One when I got a no on cat and bat as my neighbour cat. Could be. Um, Neighbouring the demon, it's, likely. It's, it's possible. I, I mean, that honestly, I'm surprised there wasn't true. a red herring anyway. But if you're going to kill me, the, kill me. Can the demon get what, a um, the marionette's role? They think they are as the demon bluff. Hmm. Uh, yes, they can. Uh, I would say I would probably go on record as saying uh, you probably shouldn't do that if you're a buddy yeah. storyteller <laughs> watching this on YouTube. Yeah. That's kind of a dick move. Same as drunk. <laughs> Same as drunk. Yeah. Same yeah. as drunk. Don't do that. <laughs> um, if the marionette is poisoned uh, night one, what happens? Does the demon still learn that they, they are the marionette? They Yes, because it happened again. Because it happens it's, after it's part, the info, it's part of, but yeah, they no longer get woken up. Yeah. Yeah. So personally, so I've got a grim down of Chris Imp Richie as a form of evil, maybe Scarlet Woman, um, and Ekin Mar Marionette. I'm the Red Herring. I think that works with everybody's info. It doesn't work with mine, Nikki. Is it not? No. Because I and got a, no, I got a I got a you're good on one of the nights with Chris, so I think it's Cat and I was poisoned night one or I'm the drunk. You're also relying on Aggie seeing Baron and then then on on a recluse, uh, being 100% truthful. How, how I think, did I think that, Atkins the marionette? I think Atkins How the did the Aggie Jamie conversation go? Um, did did Jamie out to Aggie? I mean, Aggie could be the marionette. I'm going to open nominations now. I'm going to Basically. nominate myself. Okay, Cat. Tell us why I've nominated Cat. Because somebody's going to. Do I either go for this or you don't? Can I make a defence? Please do. In what world is it Chris? Uh, because Cat's taken away the chance. Mm. Or we just go for it because it's late. Well, 
It can't be, it can't it's be both get, of them. It's not going to get much later, because <laughs> it's the final <laughs> yeah, stage. So I wouldn't base your choice zero. on that. Chef Zero uh, clears the thing both of us. I just think it's Cat here. I, I think there's two evils alive, and Cat nominating herself is pointing as, as being one of the evils. I think Richie's I am my on that. Nikki, I think you're you're relying on Evie specifically being Poison Night One for that to work. If you think there's that Cat and Chris are evil in order to no, not not Cat and Chris. I think Richie is evil. He thinks I'm evil. I don't quite know why. If it's, it's me and Richie, but then that right. also yeah, yeah, that yeah. also doesn't work with Please Adam's information. Please don't vote for Adam's this. I am the saint. Please do not vote for this. Why would a good player nominate himself for the final three? Yeah. Can we just yeah. like because if Adam's I want not to get drunk, it over and done with. I just want to get it over and done with without. Right, okay, now we can go on and actually get like votes on the actual demon, please. So, Richie and Chris, you two are the only ones left who can nominate. I won't be nominating. I think Richie's good. Uh, Richie, is, it, is, is there any value in me nominating Chris? Yes. Anyone else? No, because because all the people we, every, Richie, what everyone we think is evil did not the, vote just then. Um, everyone we think the, is evil did not vote just then. Alright, fine. Like Evie. Okay, so just no, I didn't say everyone Nikki. who didn't vote is evil. Nikki. I said everyone guys, who didn't vote. Guys, 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 calm, calm. So, Richie, do you intend to vote, yes or no? Sorry, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. I think that's. Oh, Richie. Okay. And Chris, just to be, just to be, uh, just to cover all the bases, Chris, do you intend to nominate? I do not. In that case, then, Cat, nominated hmm. by Cat, is executed and dies. And I would like to congratulate the good team who just successfully Why executed the Why? demon. Wow! Oh, <laughs> train wreck. Hey, so, sometimes you sometimes you've just gotta make the big plays, right? And when it blows up in your face, uh, yeah, it, it still looks pretty <laughs> epic. But <laughs> right, so uh, let's do the roll call. So we had Pat the Washerwoman. Who saw that either Chris or Nadine was the Raven Keeper? Nadine was indeed the Raven Keeper who was killed by Cat pretty early on, and she selected Nikki and learned that he was the mayor, which is why on Cat's second attempt to kill Nikki, I allowed it to go through because he was pretty much hard confirmed at this point. On her first attempt, I pinged it off to Ed, the Undertaker, the undrunk oh, unpoisoned bastard. Undertaker, because he was mm -hmm. already learned that uh, that Jamie was the recluse, more or less, by getting him. He was about to learn that Ekin was in fact the Scarlet Woman, uh, and I, yeah, he was already on the verge of solving the game, so we can't be having that. Chris was in fact the soldier, as he stated. Jamie, of course, was the recluse who was sat next to Aggie the Marionette registered as a demon for the purpose of the marionette and so we made aggie the marionette uh, she started off believing she was the investigator and i told her that either evie or jamie was the baron of course neither of them were the baron that was my attempt at kind of giving her information that could point her towards understanding that she's the marionette but also can seem quite legit because jamie's the recluse Evie was the chef who got a zero. I decided that the recluse did not register as evil for the purpose of the chef zero otherwise it would have been a two <laughs> or possibly a one, depending on how you rule that. Uh, Richie, the librarian, learned that either Ed or Adam was the drunk. Adam was the drunk who believed he was the fortune teller. And yeah, I think that's everything. The evil demon bluffs were Monk, Empath, and Saint. And that was a successful marionette game worthy of the YouTubes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the other game didn't happen. <laughs> Yes, it did. <laughs> that wasn't a train wreck at all. You managed to get into no. the final three, limping along as the only evil team member left alive. So, uh, yeah, I just want to say that the only thing that was honourable. Yeah. Yep. The only thing that made us suspicious in the conversation when Nadine was recounting it was that you claimed and then Aggie counterclaimed and you backed out. And it was like, oh, and then shit, the two of yeah. you spoke. Yeah, yeah, the fact that no, you I, backed no, okay. out made it because you would be the one who would know, uh, whereas Aggie Ed, wouldn't. Ed solved it. Like I was just telling you what happened. Like, uh, well, before you do, uh, let me just cut in because there's something. I don't know that, if I was both, the empath. Both, two seconds, then... please, guys. There's something that both myself and chat really, really want to know. Aggie, did you know that you were the marionette? No. <laughs> I was going to tell you, but Captain then it got kind of too late. 
Oh. I was hoping Ekin would have told you. I did. Ekin told me in the cagiest way possible, so I was like, <laughs> yeah. maybe he's the marionette and he's oh. just trying to make me play for evil. <laughs> and I genuinely <laughs> didn't believe him. There's no oh. good I should have, I sh Yeah, I should have recruited Chris though or something because he probably would have gone along with it, wouldn't you? Genuinely. <laughs> that would have been After fun. day I two, I turned, would. when I turned around to Evie on day three, I was like, I think that at least three of uh, Kat, Chris, Ekin, Aggie, Richie are evil because they're all voting together. I'm slightly worried that either Kat or Chris mm. thinks they're the other one's marionette. And oh. I don't know which way round it is. Mm. <laughs> but the other thing that went wrong was was I killed Pat on that first night because he was voting like an undertaker. Yeah, I don't know what he was, I, I but it was vote. his vote pattern. <laughs> that was exactly the point. Can I just point yeah. out that uh, Nadine has uh, gotten Ravenkeeper information two times in five consecutive nights. Yep. That's literally a 40% oh of Ravenkeeper. <laughs> no, <laughs> two, went two nights in the previous game and got it on mm. night two, and then went and got it on night three in the next game. That's got to be some sort of record, right, for wow. Ravenkeeper info. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, so many bad kills. All right, well, I think that's probably a good time to call it, guys. As always, massively appreciate you coming and checking the stream out. Uh, or really appreciate all the subs. And, um, yeah, just thank you very much. Come and hang out with us tomorrow night. We're going to play... Do you know what? I've forgotten what the name of this board game is. We're going to play a board game. It's an... I don't think it's actually a board game. It's like some new social deduction thing that's recently come out that Capelli's recommended. But we're going to we're gonna run that tomorrow. Uh, that's 9pm UK, so uh, BST. Uh, but you can check out the, the schedule to see specifically when that's going to be. It's been out for 10 years, has it, Capelli? Well, that's pretty new. I'm quite old, you know. What is it called, Capelli, if you're in chat? You can... You can tell us what it's called. What what is the name of this game that we'll be playing? It's called Shadow Hunters. Ah, yes, of course that rings a bell. We're going to play Shadow Hunters tomorrow night, uh, and of course tune in for the US stream on Sunday slash Monday morning, depending on where you are, where they'll play some uh, some BMR and S and V with marionettes in it. And we will see you guys when we next see you. But in the meantime, take it easy. Look after each other, be cool to one another, and stick around because we're going to raid in a bit. <laughs>